It's only fitting for our first team of the week of 2024 that we put the spotlight on a group that's accomplished a lot of firsts. The Sea Snowball Girls wrestling team, first regional title, first semi-state title, and now they're grappling their way all the way to the state meet at Kokomo. Sam Reason is a big reason for that, and he's joined alongside us. Sam, first off, congrats to this team. Just how proud are you of what the ladies accomplished last week at Rochester? Uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it was an no, unbelievable meet for us. We came in with nine girls and to qualify eight for the state finals and win the fir our first semi-state was, you know, a big accomplishment and a goal that we've had since we, you know, started the girls program, you know, where it really picked up three, four years ago. Uh, you mentioned just the overall growth of this and how much has the growth of this girls wrestling team reflected what's happening statewide as girls wrestling is now an emerging sport for the IHSAA. Yeah, so East Noble's been really supportive of our team. We have uh, host a big tournament uh, in November. Um, you know, we have paid coaches on staff, and so so we've been really trying to be ahead of the curve, and, and, and we see that all over. There's uh, teams that are growing, you know, all throughout this region and all throughout the rest of the state, and it's really uh, awesome to see for the sport in general, you know, and I think uh, with our team, you see that the girls and the guys, they work together, and they're all one team is how they see each other, and, and so that's awesome. It's helped our, our guys program out a ton too. Looking back on that semi-state meet at Rochester, what was that atmosphere like and as you took in, you know, your first semi-state title in program history. Yeah, so we kind of felt that uh, we, we saw the draws, and, you know, at the girls' level, there's a few draws. You know, the Campo girls we talked about earlier that, like, man, you didn't want to see them in the ticket round. But we started, uh, we saw the draws and, and, and kind of felt that all of our girls had a shot. And, and when we went eight for eight in the ticket, or eight for nine in the ticket round, you know, it was just, um, you know, an, an unbelievable day. And, and it was awesome. Our, our parents, we have great support. We're, you know, into it. And we had a lot of the... The boys went and watched the girls, and they were into it, and so it's awesome, awesome to see. As you look ahead to later this week, you got the state meet at Kokomo. How much are you going to rely on some of these past state qualifiers who advanced last year to help lead the way for some of these ladies who maybe taking this in for the first time. Yeah, so we got five girls that are, you know, going to be at the state finals for the first time. Uh, so the three that competed last year are definitely going to, um, you know, help lead the help lead the charge there on, on, on Friday. And I know that, um, you know, several of them are looking to place high and I think have a lot of confidence and that they'll be able to do that. Sam, only other question for me, just overall, what are you most excited about with the state meets this weekend at Kokomo? You know, uh, we like the think that uh, Kylie's got a real good shot at maybe getting to the final, you know, getting to the finals at 100, and you know that's what uh, we're hoping to see, and we're hoping that we can bring home a state title, and then hoping for you know the rest of them we get some placers and, and have a good weekend. So.